Apple may have hit another new all-time high today. Options traders think there's still room to go. Big shock. Big shock. John Ajarian at the Telestrator with that and more unusual activity. Wow, Doc, people are betting on more Apple gains. Yeah, what a shocker, Judge. Uh, and when you look at the volume of trade that has happened just in one strike in particular, the September 230s, you'll see exactly why people are betting so big here and maybe how much upside they see, Judge. What happened was yesterday we traded right here on 830. We traded about 44,000 of these calls. That's almost uh, four and a half million share equivalent. Same thing today in the first couple hours of trade. So they traded also very near term as in today expiring the 227.50 calls. They already made four times their money on that call. Now they're picking on September the 230 calls and obviously we know what's going to be happening September 12th. The options I'm talking about though will expire the week before that which is I think pretty prudent because what usually happens is we see a run up and then it eases on whatever kind of spectacular announcement there is and that's why I think uh, they're buying these in the very short term today and next week expiration of September uh, for the 230 strike. Take a look at UPS as well, Judge. UPS, they came in today. They were aggressively buying calls in United Parcel Service for exactly what we talked about top of the show, discretionary buying. That's one of the drivers for UPS because they deliver a lot of the packages that you and I are buying. So September, 123 call volume, about 6,000 of those, so 600,000 share equivalent. Big purchase in here. I bought those. And just to give you one more, we just have the stock, not the actual option chart, and that's Nielsen. Elliott, of course, is in here. He's an activist. We see some pretty strong buying of upside calls, selling of downside puts in here. It's putting on a bet, perhaps, in fact, reflecting what they gave, basically, um, some other activists. In other words, when they do an over-the-counter trade, a lot of times they'll hedge themselves in the listed options. That's what might be happening here. And I bought more Nielsen in my portfolio today. All right, good to know. Uh, Jim Lamenthal has something for you, Doc. Hey, All John, right. real quick, the, what's the premium on those uh, September 230 Apple calls? Because you said 44,000 contracts, 4.5 million shares. What's the dollar value at risk here? Well, let's see. I think those calls are roughly, uh, or they were a little bit ago, Jim, $2.20 or thereabout. So $10 for those... million dollars at risk here. Yep. That's a lot of money. Exactly. And, uh, yeah. again, for 4 million share equivalent, almost 5 million share equivalent, um, I like that play into next week.